Hi everybody, Steve here and I am going into a classroom here cold and in real time going to show you how I would personally suggest setting up the hybrid learning for both remote and local learning. Um, I have plugged in to a computer that has not been set up and I'm going to show you how to do that. So please uh, forgive shaky camera and things like that. I just want to make this as clear and easy for you to understand as possible. And so I'm doing this on a laptop that will be used by a center school teacher. And it is not remotely a fancy setup. This is exactly what you will be dealing with. The first thing you need to do is you need to change your computer display from mirror to extend. Uh, and, and what that does is it changes from your projector having exactly the same display as your laptop to it having an, a, an additional display. I'm going to show you how to do this. What I'm going to do is I'm right clicking and then I'm hitting display settings. Okay, now you can see this one, two. This means that my laptop right now is treating the display on the laptop, the screen on the laptop, and the projector, some of you call the Mimeo, uh, as the same. We don't want that. So we're going to come down here where we see multiple displays. Right now it says duplicate these displays. This is not what you want. You want to say extend these displays. And then we're going to keep changes. Okay, now I'm going to show you something. Again, please forgive the shaky cam, but I want you to see how this works. Some of you are already using this kind of a setup, but most I know aren't. There's the display on my laptop. Normally, you would see exactly that up on the projector screen. And as you can see, you do not. Let me zoom out. That projector screen is its own screen. And I can take things from this screen here and I can move them. Let me figure out which side. There we go. I can move it over to the other screen. What this allows me to do is to have one screen for stuff that only I want to see and another screen for only things that I want my students to see. And I will show you why you want this in one moment. So that is the first thing that you need to do. There are some tweaks you can do for this and I will make a separate video. Whoop, sorry, I will make a separate video involving that. For right now, let me get back into a tripod and we'll get rid of settings here. And this particular setup, as far as my computer is concerned, my other monitor is over here to the right. And so I would drag things to the right. Right. Now, let me again, uh, now let me just show you, let me start a Zoom meeting. So I'm going to open up Zoom and I'm going to click New Meeting. I am signed in as me. There I am. I am joining with computer audio. All right, now this screen right here is where I'm going to see my students, okay? I am not going to see them. Again, shaky camera, forgive me. By the way, I am in this room entirely by myself, so I don't have the mask on, but for authenticity, let's put the mask on, right? Okay, now, I can see that's where my students are going to show up. That's where the people in Zoom are going to show up. They don't show up here. Notice where I have this laptop. It is not facing my class. It is facing me. I can see what's going on here. I can turn my head to see what's going on. I'm not saying this is ideal, but this is the shortest distance between two points. This is the easiest way that you will be able to give legible and, and uh, easily viewable uh, uh, lesson material to your students through your computer. Okay, so I can see my laptop there and I have my projector up here. And these are two different things and that camera and that microphone are not aimed towards my students, they're aimed towards me. And you can see on that screen exactly what, you can, what, what uh, your students will see. Now here is the key. Let me get up close. 
so that you can see what I'm about to do. I am going to share screen. I am not sharing this screen. I'm not sharing the screen that you can see right now. I'm going to share my projector screen. So I click share and I have this one and I have this one. This maybe we'll make a video about, okay? I'm going to share this screen here and I click share. Okay, now I have worked with uh, a, a private music student using exactly this kind of a setup. Instead of a projector, I used a second monitor. As far as your computer is concerned, that projector is a monitor. And I could see my student here. It had me, it had my student. I have not admittedly done it with more than one student, but it's this, this is the technique that I have personally used, and it has worked. So now on this screen here, I can see students. This screen is what is being shared. All right, let's put this to a quick practical use. I'm just gonna pull up, just for simplicity's sake, to make this quick and easy, a notepad screen, okay? And I'm gonna drag this notepad screen over here. So my notepad is here. It's not there, that's where I see my students. It's up here, and I can even come over here. <laughs> I may set you down for a second here to, because uh, I, want, I want to make this full screen. You could do this, by the way, with a Google Doc. You can do it with your Memeo, okay? Now, let me move my tripod so that I can do this. Um, I couldn't find the the Mimeo pen in this particular room that I'm in. So otherwise I would use Mimeo right now. So now this is what your students in the classroom can see. This is what your students who are at home can see. And I can come over here and I can start typing. See? I can start typing. If I had a Mimeo pen, I can start writing and my students can see that. So, just to give you guys the quick review, you are going on to your laptop. You are choosing extend screen, back up the video if you need to. And when you share a screen, you're not sharing the screen that's on the laptop. You're sharing the screen that is the projector. Are there some other things you can do? Yes, but this is the very, very basics of what I personally suggest because I have used this setup in a teaching situation myself. Okay. I'm going to let you go. Give that a try when you get to school. If you need a hand, see the tech in your building and we can help you. Um, and, and better yet, your techs are going to be pretty, uh, pretty busy. If you, if you guys can help each other learn to do this, that would really be a help. Bye-bye.